and good morning world it is the 14th of november 2012 it's about 7 30 8 a.m in the morning what an eclipse that was i saw the footage from cairns great clouds before clouds after but the actual eclipse fantastic very very impressive the meaning of it and the results of this eclipse from an astrological perspective will take time to unfold probably a good few weeks if not a couple of months the moon is now leaving Scorpio and in three hours from now, around about just before 11am UK time, the moon will leave Scorpio and move into Sagittarius. So around 11am UK time today, there will be a shift of energy. The moon will move into Sagittarius and things in general will become a bit less burdensome, laden, uh, intense and instead will become more, a bit more optimistic, bouncy, cheerful. And that's the effect of the moon moving from Scorpio into Sagittarius. But looking at the, the remnants of the Scorpio eclipse, I can't help but look at Saturn. So what I want to do is do a little bit of a, a, a sort of brief three-session masterclass on Saturn. And I'm going to do the difficult stuff first. So this is Saturn's challenging side, okay? Saturn's a planet that's, that's massive, massive, hundreds of times bigger than our planet. But it's so... F it, it's, it's, so far from the sun that it's never really had a chance to solidify. Saturn is made of gas. We don't know what's inside it. It's probably some type of carbon or diamond center. But it's primarily comprised of gas. The uh, thing is that gas is so far from the sun that, that it's, it's kind of frozen. It's not frozen solid, but it's frozen into crystals of ice that compact in on each other into clouds that give density and gravity pushing in and trying to come into the center. So Saturn is about gravity. It's about the pressures of forming into something more solid from what was insubstantial. On the negative side, Saturn has always been seen as old father time. He's represented as the skeleton carrying the scythe, wearing a cowl. Kronos, from which we get chronometer, the timepiece. Saturn's always looked after time. Saturn's cycle is 29 years. And those astrologically aware amongst you will know that both the 29-year Saturn return cycle and the archetypal seven-year itch, the seven and a quarter year cycle, both of these are connected strongly to Saturn. On the negative side, Saturn does deal with all systems of imposed and limiting restrictive authority, whether it is father, teacher, god, police, military, employer, whatever. He says, Saturn is the one who says, you will not, you cannot. These are the boundaries. Saturn is the furthest planet you can see with the naked eye. So it represents as far as you can go in terms of the visible or the conscious. Saturn is the break. Saturn is the one that says, right, you're not going to do this. You've got to work really, really hard just to keep your head above water. And if you persist with Saturn, then you get your reward. But on the challenging side, Saturn is always the one that goes, no, no, this is not feasible. It has no substance. It is not real. Therefore, it's not going to happen. And the negative side of Saturn in Scorpio, we're seeing already, we're seeing the, the, the upsurge of filth. Uh, and that is ongoing and continuing and will continue to do so. But I ranted on that one yesterday, so I'm not going to continue that today. The challenging side of Saturn is that of choosing to live within your own limitations as opposed to living within those imposed upon you by other people. If you live within your own boundaries and you play according to your own rules and you keep things clean and transparent, Saturn will give you a relatively easy time. But if not, Saturn's reputation as being the taskmaster, the boss, the one who says here and no further, he will land on you with a ton of bricks. He will hold you back. So with Saturn, there's only one real philosophy that works, especially when he's in a bad mood. And that says, if you always do it the hard way, you only have to do it once. A few hours time, I'll look at the more neutral and the positive sides of Saturn. But for the moment, for the moment, have a great day.